This short tutorial will teach you how varying lengths of Lennox bandsaw blades are produced. When a bandsaw blade is ordered, the first step is to unspool the end and measure the tooth length to ensure the cut is exactly in the middle of the gullet or the space that is between the teeth. This guarantees that the tooth length will be consistent after the weld process. Next, the table is set up so the blade can be run out to the desired length consistently every time. The blade is cut and the tooth length is checked at that end as well. The blade is then placed in a Lennox welding machine with the proper gap for strength and tooth spacing. The blade is welded together, then annealed to harden the welded area. Next, the blade goes to the grinder where both sides are ground down to equal thickness. The gullet inner tooth side is ground smooth and the back side is filed flush. The welded portion is then put back into the welder and annealed again to ensure consistent hardness across the whole welded portion. If the blade has specialty teeth such as carbide tips, a plastic covering is put on to protect them. The blade is then folded by grabbing it wide with open palms and folding inward with your right hand going over your left hand. You will finish with a much smaller three-hooped coil. The blade is then ready to be boxed and shipped off to its destination. Always handle bandsaw blades with care and wear hand and eye protection while working with them.